Sabrina Pizzuela works for Newzone's Gallery, which is housing a group show called Perceptions. She says that Exposure 2011 has brought in people of all ages and backgrounds. Yeah, we do have lots of people kind of each year. It goes, the more people attend, the kind of the more publicity is put on for it, the more people come through. So this year's been very good so far. No, most of the galleries are, well, some of them are commercial, so we're just in the business of placing work so people can come in as they wish. You don't need to pay a fee. Yeah, we get a lot of ACAD students coming through uh, working on projects. Um, lots of people come with their parents as well, but lots of university and college kids for sure. This is Joshua Jensen Nagel. He is a younger artist based out of Toronto. Okay. Well, perhaps I'll talk about his process, yeah. I guess. Um, yeah. So, what Josh does is each photograph isn't just a photo, he's very process oriented. So, what he's doing, any of his artworks are shot anywhere between three and up to ten times, kind of depending okay. on the effect he's trying to go for. But um, they start off as digital works and then he uses um, layers of colored glass, dyed water, um, different filters of various sorts to kind of achieve um, the blurs and the lack of detail in certain areas which naturally wouldn't come through. Mm -hmm. And he's also, um, he will paint onto the surface as well, so I expect that most of the stars are actually painted on by hand and then it's re-photographed. Randy Neeson works for Truck Gallery, and he says the festival brought in a fair amount of viewers, so overall, Exposure 2011 has been a success. Well, this is um, Truck's second year participating in the Exposure Festival, and it's always nice to be part of something that's kind of a bigger uh, experience that kind of unifies the community. And we've definitely uh, received a lot of traffic through the gallery, a lot of people are just excited to kind of uh, see what's going on, not only in Truck, but what's going on around with the whole festival. So. It's been a really great experience for us and, and for the community, I think. I was around for the last uh, Exposure Festival that we did. Um, and the, I, the same thing, we had people from out of time just to check out the work and uh, it was really it was really great. And this one is really nice because we have uh, someone from the local community. This piece right here, it's um, Pascal Dufault's kinetic video sculpture. So what it does is it rotates in 360 degrees. Uh, it has a camera on there, so it's actually uh, filming the gallery space, but it also has a mirror on there, so it films itself being uh, filmed, and then it also films like you watching the piece. And it's actually kind of nice because the works are in close proximity to each other. The Glenbow Museum and the Weiss Gallery are also participating in Exposure 2011 Festival. For further details, go to ExposurePhotoFestival.com. This is Shani Kramer reporting.